Apple just dropped a redesigned Mac Mini. Yes, who could tell that Apple released the Mac Mini today? Well, all of us. Amazon yesterday leaked it. And yes, it's a new redesign. Let's talk about it. So, what does this new redesign M4 Mac Mini bring? Well, for starters, a more efficient design. Yes, we got a smaller package now, but also I think it's closer to what the Apple visions as an Apple Silicon Mac Mini. This is really like the Mac Studio, but much, much smaller. So <laughs> I guess this is going to be one of the best nor the best values Mac ever made. Yes, I do believe, and I'm putting my money on it, I'm going to buy an M4 Mac Mini base model to review it, but I do believe this is going to be an incredible, incredible value machine. It has two USB-C ports on the front and three USB-C ports on the back. So total five USB-C ports. That's crazy. It's going to have an headphone jack and it's going to have an ethernet port. This is going to be the king of IO. Five USB-C ports, guys. Five. Insane. We're also getting a new, barely thermal design for this M4 chip. Although the M4 chip is not that actually power hungry, this new cooling system, just like the Mac Studio has, is going to be very, very impressive. So I guess the best way to describe this M4 Mac Mini redesign is a Mac Studio smaller. But this redesign was also made to support the M4 Pro chip, which is kind of exciting because it means that the M4 chip will have lots and lots of breeding ground in terms of thermal capacity because this design was also made to have a more powerful chip in mind, the M4 Pro. So if you're looking for a very powerful but also cost-efficient machine, the M4 Pro Mac Mini is going to be an actually great option. Now it starts with 16 gigabytes of RAM on the M4 chip, which is actually insane because this Mac Mini only costs $600 with a huge redesign and five USB-C ports, an incredibly powerful M4 chip with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, it still has 256 gigabytes of storage. Who cares? You can buy external storage for cheap. And with these 16 gigabytes of RAM, this machine will be super powerful and will meet every single need that you have. So if you currently have an external display, an external keyboard, an external mouse, don't buy any other machine than the M4 Mac Mini. I don't even need a computer and I just bought one for me to try out to see, can I give it a new life to my ultra wide monitor in my dorm room? I don't know, let's see it. I wanna review it. I wanna tell you guys if it's worth it to buy or not. But of course, I'm so excited to compare to my M1 Max MacBook Pro because that machine cost me $4,000 when it was new. This only costed me 600. Let's see how close are they to each other and let's see how fast the M4 chip on a design that is not thermally constrained. So yes, I'm very, very excited for this upcoming M4 Mac Mini. It's coming on the 8th of November and I will receive it. Give it one week or so and I will review it. So yes, a complete redesigned Mac Mini. Oh my God, I'm so, so excited for what's next. <laughs> Apple could not have done anything better. I don't really care about the newest M4 MacBook Pros, but I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow in terms of the M4 Pro and M4 Max. Apple just dropped the M4 Pro on the Mac Mini, so you can get one with the M4 chip or you can get one with the M4 Pro. It's quite simple. So we are now on the Apple website and as you can see, the Mac Mini is already here. So let's learn more about this new Mac Mini and let's start to pre-order this machine. As you can see, we have several options. We have the 10 core CPU, the 10 core GPU M4, all of them now have the only M4 chip, no more bin models. Of course, you have the 16 gigabyte option as standard. And then of course, the several storage options. The important thing to note is, of course, you have the M4 Pro variation, and this is a more expensive machine. This is in dollars, as you can see, and it costs $1,400 with 512 gigabytes of storage. This is your only option with the M4 Pro. While this Three options here have the M4 chip. The only difference is, of course, the RAM and the storage. But as you can see, for each upgrade that you do, it's $200. I would say that in these variants, I would go up, up only on the base model. This machine, I think right now, is the best option. It's the $600 option, really simple, the one that I bought. Of course, if you want a more performance-focused machine, going for the M4 Pro would be your best bet. And selecting this machine, you have several options. Although I think that a 24 gigabyte base model and of course a 512 SSD is way more than enough. And for only $1,400, as you can see, this is an amazing, amazing deal. But if we go back, I do believe that this $600 base model is insane. Again, 16 gigabytes of base RAM, 256 bytes of SSD storage, you can get external SSDs for 
I don't know, $100 with one terabyte, you don't need more. And because this is a desktop PC, so it's a desktop computer, you can have it dangling around on your desk, no issues there. You can buy even bigger hard drives, even bigger NAS. And it not, does not make any sense to buy this two terabyte option. It's very expensive. I would spend maybe $100 more on a 10 gigabyte internet port if you think that's useful for you. If not, who cares? These are the things that you get. Again, two USB-C ports on the front. And you also get three Thunderbolt 4 ports. I think one is on the back. Let me just check. So this is the new Mac Mini, as you can see. And yeah, let me see our new photos. Okay, three in the back, three Thunderbolt in the back, two USB-C on the front. This is so small, guys. And yeah, of course, you have the USB-C port. Oh, and the HDMI. Yeah, the two USB-Cs on the front. These are very useful to connect external keyboards, external mouses to charge. And these ones are useful to connect any type of fast storage or any type of needs that you have. These are very, very cool. And yeah, external displays also should be powered by these. This is coming out on the 8th of November. I will get in one and of course I will review it. And so that was my overall look at the current M4 Mac Mini lineup with the new redesign. I think that the M4 chip variant is the best value Mac in the planet right now. But I do believe the M4 Pro is also a great, great value. Of course, because Apple just dropped the M4 Pro chip on these machines, I do believe tomorrow we're going to get the M4 Pro MacBook Pro and M4 Max MacBook Pro. So if you're excited for that, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel because I will have a video on those too. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.